Phase 5 has been announced for 2020, and we've been talking about this now, guys, pretty much for, uh, you know, the past number of shows, we've had a segment talking about Phase 5, and I think one of the big things, though, is that people have been asking me on social media different questions about Phase 5 and what my thoughts on them are, and, and I gotta say that uh, phase five as a whole, guys, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I, I'm excited to, you know, I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm going to be going for it myself. But I, one thing is, is that there's a ton of question marks here. And really at this point in time, it's going to be all speculation because there hasn't been official word as to what this entire, you know, recruitment challenge is going to entail. So with that being said, guys, let's get into a question I've been, I've been hearing quite recently. And that is, Will Phase 5 in 2020, will this RC be uh, essentially for any game out there? And so let's talk about that. So I'm obviously going to pass this question on to all of you because this is just one man's thoughts and, you know, I would love to hear yours, but I want to break this thing down. Phase 5 in the past and even the Phase 1 recruitment challenge, all of those guys have been based around Call of Duty up to this point. And so they typically will recruit trick shotters and snipers in phase five. It's really nothing other than that. There's not, you know, it's not like they're picking up pub stompers from Call of Duty. They're not picking up, you know, really anything else. I mean, they're picking up trick shotters and they're picking up snipers. And then it just so happens that a lot of those players that join the team as a trick shot or sniper turn into a personality over time. And so with that though, I think in 2020, it's been years since we got a phase five, I think that they're going to stick to some of the traditions of Phase 5, but I do believe that they are going to change change things up a little bit. And one of those being uh, adding some other games that you can go for Phase 5 um, and, and play. And, and so what I'm getting at here is the last Phase 5 video that they made on their YouTube channel, Phase Rain, Phase Adapt, and Phase Banks all sat there and stated that Phase 5 was going to be, they were doing a Phase 5 specifically based around Fortnite. So that video got, you know, deleted later on and there, that never that never saw the light of day. But what I'm getting at is it was in their minds that they wanted to do a Phase 5 around Fortnite. So I think that it's important that they stick with the traditions of, you know, Phase 5 and, and Call of Duty being a part of that. But I just don't think with the, the gaming landscape and how it's changed, Call of Duty trick and sniping has just dipped in a significant way over time. I mean, it, it you know, it went from this pretty large niche community to a pretty small community at this point. There's still people who do trick shot and snipe, but uh, it's just not as big as it used to be. And part of that is probably because Phase kind of, you know, didn't bring out more Phase 5 recruitment challenges. It didn't keep the, the community alive for a, a long time after that. But with that, though, I do believe that there will be other games. If there's only one other game, I would say it's definitely going to be Fortnite. Um, you know, I just think that they're going to be looking for more talent based around the Fortnite community as well as Call of Duty. And when we talk about Call of Duty, what I I, I do think that they're going to be kind of putting, you know, putting it out there that trickshine sniping is definitely something that they want to do. Now, we might be wrong about this, guys. They may say, you know, we don't want to do trick shine sniping at all. We want to focus specifically on Fortnite. That's obviously a possibility. I hope they don't do that because I think that this would create more opportunity for everyone out there, whether it's, a, you know, from Fortnite perspective or a Call of Duty perspective or other games out there as well. It would just create so much more opportunity for people who are trying to join one of the largest gaming teams in the world. And so uh, theoretically, what I would like to see is since we're talking five people are getting recruited, I'd like to see one trick charter get recruited, one sniper, one streamer, one content creator, and then one like Fortnite player. And if you want to take the stream streamer and content creator out of there and you want to like, you know, replace them with another Fortnite player or something because maybe streamers and content creators or the, these five players may turn into that anyway, then that's fine. But I think it also gives opportunity for those of us who aren't, you know, you know, really great at trick shotting, aren't really good at sniping, and aren't really great at trick shotting in Fortnite, or just really good at Fortnite in general, it gives other, you know, streamers and content creators a, a chance to join based on just having, you know, raw talent from a video perspective or just from, you know, a, a stream perspective. And so, to answer the question in all, I would say yes. The This recruitment challenge will be for other games 
outside of just Call of Duty. Now, is it going to be a lot of games? Is it just going to be one game? That'll be remain to be seen, but I would say there will be at least one other game that will be featured in Phase 5 outside of Call of Duty, but I do hope it sticks to the tradition still where there is you know, because this is what Phase 5 was built on, was trick shine sniping in Call of Duty. But let me know, guys. Do you guys think that there will be, you know, other games featured in Phase 5 outside of Call of Duty? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more Phase 5 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.